Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're taking a deep dive into one of the most exciting developments in Philippine defense, the AGILA-5, a conceptual supersonic cruise missile project that could transform the country's maritime capabilities. While it is still in the planning and design phase, the Aguila-5 has already caught the attention of defense analysts across Asia for its potential role in safeguarding the Philippines' waters. In this video, we'll explore its design, projected performance, potential roles, and the strategic importance it may hold for the nation. The name, Aguila, translates to, Eagle, in Filipino, symbolizing speed, precision, and dominance in the sky. The number, 5, reflects the next stage in the Philippines Missile Development Program, representing a fifth-generation concept with advanced speed and range. Because this is a defense project, detailed specifications are limited, but public defense forums and expert discussions have provided insights into its possible capabilities. Conceptually, the Aguila 5 is designed as a supersonic cruise missile capable of flying at speeds greater than Mach 2, more than twice the speed of sound. This places it in a similar performance category as the Indian-Russian Brahmos, one of the fastest cruise missiles currently in service worldwide. The missile could be launched from naval ships or land-based coastal defense units, giving the Philippine Armed Forces the flexibility to deploy it across the country's extensive archipelago. One of the primary missions envisioned for the AGILA-5 is anti-ship warfare. The West Philippine Sea presents complex maritime security challenges, and a missile capable of engaging hostile vessels at long distances would serve as a strong deterrent. Early reports suggest a projected range of 250 to 300 kilometers, allowing the Philippine Navy or coastal defense units to strike threats before they approach critical maritime zones. The warhead is expected to carry between 200 and 300 kilograms of explosive payload. Although exact figures are classified, this range would allow the missile to deliver a precise and powerful strike against surface targets. Its guidance system is likely to combine inertial navigation and active radar homing, ensuring accuracy against moving ships even in rough sea conditions. In addition to anti-ship operations, the Aguila 5 could also be adapted for land attack missions. This dual role capability would allow the missile to target enemy infrastructure or coastal installations if required, increasing its strategic versatility for both defensive and offensive operations. Another advantage of the AGILA-5 is its potential supersonic speed paired with a sea-skimming flight profile. Flying close to the ocean surface would reduce radar detection, while its high speed would leave targets with minimal reaction time. This combination makes it more challenging for adversaries to intercept, enhancing its effectiveness in modern naval warfare. Developing the Aguila-5 would also mark a major step forward for the Philippine defense industry. Traditionally reliant on imported missile systems, creating a domestically designed missile could boost local engineering expertise, promote defense technology development, and even open opportunities for future defense exports. It is important to note that the AGILA-5 is currently a concept project. Final specifications, testing schedules, and operational dates have not been officially confirmed. The Philippine Department of National Defense and Armed Forces have only provided limited information, with most details coming from defense exhibitions, open-source discussions, and expert analysis. If the program advances, the Aguila-5 could be deployed on platforms such as the Jose Rizal class frigates are future missile-capable patrol vessels. It could also be launched from land-based coastal batteries under the Philippine Marine Corps Coastal Defense Regiment, offering operational flexibility for a range of maritime defense scenarios. Globally, the Aguila-5 can be compared to systems like India's BrahMos, China's YJ-12, and Russia's P-800 Onyx. These missiles are all fast, powerful, and designed to dominate naval engagements, making them difficult to intercept. For the Philippines, developing such a capability would signal a strong commitment to protecting its maritime territory and interests. However, building a high-performance missile like the Aguila-5 presents challenges. Costs are significant, requiring investment in research, advanced materials, propulsion systems, and guidance technologies. Extensive testing will also be necessary to ensure reliability in humid, salty, and often turbulent Southeast Asian waters. If successful, the Aguila-5 program could also lead to joint development opportunities with allied nations. 
Technology sharing agreements or collaborative projects could allow the Philippines to leverage expertise from countries with experience in supersonic missile development. Such cooperation could accelerate progress, reduce costs, and ensure the missile meets modern operational requirements. Strategically, the Aguila 5 aligns with the Revised Armed Forces of the Philippines Modernization Program, RAFPMP, which aims to upgrade national defense capabilities to address emerging threats and protect the country's maritime interests, particularly in contested areas. In summary, the Aguila 5 represents a bold vision for the future of Philippine missile technology. With its potential supersonic speed, long-range precision, and multi-role capabilities, it could become a cornerstone of coastal and naval defense. If the project reaches operational status, it could elevate the Philippines from a missile technology importer to a credible developer, enhancing national security and pride. While we await official updates and testing milestones, one thing is certain, the Aguila 5 could soar as a symbol of Philippine defense innovation and ambition. Thank you for watching. If you found this breakdown of the AGILA 5 interesting, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the Philippines' defense projects and future technologies.